In this video, we are going to cover message signing. Message signing is used to make sure a message came from the right party and has not been tampered with during communication. The message, along with its signature, is sent across. Let's use the 101 blockchain tool to understand this concept. So here we see a pair of keys, the private key and the public key. We also see a message, which we can set as hello. Let's sign this message with the private key by clicking this button. The generated message signature is also called a digital signature. This digital signature, along with the original message, can be verified using the public key of the key pair. So let's verify it by pushing this button. And let's talk about it a little. This true means that the message came from a known sender and it has not been altered. Let's take a look at an example of message signing. So let's say Alice wants to send a message to Bob, who verifies that the message is authentic, meaning that it came from Alice and was not modified on its way to Bob. In order to achieve this, Alice needs her pair of keys a private key to sign the message, and a public key so that Bob can verify. This pair of keys is created by a key generation program. So here is the message, hello, which Alice needs to sign and send to Bob. Alice will sign this message using her private key to create the digital signature. This digital signature and the message in plain text are sent to Bob. Bob will verify the authentic authenticity of the signature by using Alice's public key, which may result in true or false. When the result is true, it means that the signature is verified. Let's go back to the 101 blockchain tool to run some scenarios. Let's sign this message and verify it. So I'll sign the message and we'll verify it. Verification successful. Now let's tamper with the digital signature and try to verify it again. So here's a message signature and I will change this U into a W and I'll try verifying it again. When I press verify with public key again, we see that the verification failed this time. Now let's try changing the message before the verification process. So I'll sign the message and verify it successfully. This time, let's change the message from test to test2. And let's try to verify it again. And you can see the verification failed as expected. So this explains message signing at a high level. Feel free to play with this tool by running different scenarios, including changing the message or trying different public and private key pairs.